If you know, you know. Utility contractors will tell you all about it, having to use bladed buckets when digging around other services. So let us explain how it will impact the use of your buckets. Carry on watching to find out more. The main reason for using bladed buckets over against tooth buckets is to save damaging other services in the ground. Cable strikes are a common thing which create downtime and is expensive and is also a risk to life. So a tooth bucket, when you're pulling it through the ground, if you come across a service, you will either puncture it, rip it, or actually drag it right out of the ground. So the whole idea of using a bladed bucket is that you'll deflect off the services that you come across. Obviously, you should have a service plan when you're digging, so you'll know where the services are. But unfortunately, there are occasions when you might not know where something is. So a bladed bucket is imperative to make sure that you don't damage other services. Cable strikes are very common, and they're also very dangerous and very costly. So a bladed bucket is a must. Rhinox has a product specifically for this application. It's called the Unitusk. You can go to our website and look for that on our products. But it's, a, it's like a gummy guard, as some people call it in the trade. It bolts onto the bucket at the front and it's shaped like an old bucket. So it's meant to deflect away from a service if it hits it or come across it, rather than drag it or pierce it or rip it out of the ground. It's a good product, it's definitely worth having a look at that. And it bolts on and strengthens the bucket. So it's a, it's a brilliant product if you're doing utility work. Another key reason for having a bladed bucket is it gives you a flat bottom to the trench. For one, you'll be able to see whether there's any sharp objects, as in like stones or large bits of rubble or something in the bottom of the trench, which could actually damage your ducting or your cables. Obviously, it's imperative to have a flat base so that when you lay your trunking in there, and when you're pulling the cable through, once it's been backfilled, you haven't got any uneven ground so that the, the, the ducting can come apart or break, which means it saves you having problems in pulling your cables. It is also makes it easier to be able to see where you're working. And in some instances, when you're putting services through, you'll have to go to a certain depth. Obviously, it's a lot easier to work that out if you've got a flat bottom to the trench. When contractors remove the teeth off a bucket, they're known as what they call a gummy bucket. If you don't put a bolt on blade on there, obviously you've got a flat edge, so technically it's like having a bladed bucket, but you'll wear the bucket back extremely fast. So we recommend putting a blade onto your bucket anyway, because it makes it stronger. It's reversible, so you can turn it around when it wears back, and it means you get much longer life out of your bucket. So in summary, a flat bottom to the trench is critical to having a stable platform for your pipe or your cables to rest on to save any damage throughout the duration of the life of that ducting. So if you want to find out a bit more about the Rhinox Unitus blade or how to make your buckets last longer, then watch this video here and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>